What's up, guys? I just found help. What? To the Diablo Research Institution. Like this video if you will, subscribe to the page and the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And peace be with my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. So, my Necromancer is now level 23. And I've made a ton of progress since my last video. There's also some patch notes of changes that have been done recently. But nonetheless, I now have a full uh, belt of skills here. And I just started using Army of the Dead, but I don't even really need it. Because this Necromancer has just been kicking ass. So let me show you what she's been up to. Cast a lot of Blood Nobus, and I automatically destroy... Ooh. Uh... Corpses every t when I walk over them, like every second, because of the uh, seasonal thing. One of the hearts that I have, I think it's in this ring, the vicious heart. Walking near a corpse automatically activates an equipped corpse skill every second, Ugh. dealing 36% reduced damage. So it does this corpse skills that you have on your belt and active. And in this example, I have corpse explosion. And it's been modified to the the tier where it doesn't actually explode. It just emits a sort of cloud. Because here's the first note, Enhanced Corpse Explosion. Almost died there. Just really let my minions do all the work right now. But so I go around, I reap shit. I uh, conjure a bunch of corpses. And she automatically causes them to explode or radiate rather. And uh, you can also hasten the process by just continuing to spam the corporate explosion button, like these ones around me. So you can hasten it up. Uh, it's it's very optimal and very destructive. Pretty damn good time. The summon necro is really starting to uh, seem quite viable where I'm at right now, anyway. So I'm thinking they're going to continue to make it viable as uh, this game progresses. And I actually just found. A legendary amulet. Unfortunately, I can't use it. It's called Amulet of Bursting Bones, only because I don't use Bone Prison. But when you do, this is what it does. When a segment of Bone Prison is destroyed or expires, it deals 34 damage in an area around itself. So I don't know how much 34 damage really translates to. Uh, sounds like shit, really. But maybe it scales as you go up. I don't know. Or maybe uh, your weapon damage is also applied to that. I'm not really sure how it works. But I actually imprinted on my amulet for Blood Surge, because I've been using Blood Surge. So now I cast two of them. Blood Surge's Nova echoes again after a short delay, dealing 40% less damage. So it does less damage, but it's a free cast. So there's just one cast, and you can keep casting it, and you just... It's pretty awesome. But, uh... Let's check out these notes. I haven't really looked at the Necromancer changes, which is kind of what I'm interested in. Uh, there's some speculation that the summon druid is actually going to be somewhat more viable, but I have my doubts, and I did look into it a little bit. Just tiny little boost damage, so I wasn't all that impressed. So enhanced bone spirit. Cooldown reduction increased from 6 to 7 seconds. Okay. Uh, so that's a buff, I believe. Bone spirit. Uh, you cast it once, and it takes all your remaining essence. So it'd be an interesting skill to mess around with. Uh, it is, of course, a Diablo 2 skill, and also a Diablo 1 skill as well. But uh, they really modified it uh, strangely in this game. And uh, I'd like to see it in effect. So I might try that out in the near future. Wither Legendary Board. Willpower requirement for bonuses reduced from 50 to 40. Okay, Legendaries. Aspect of Empowering Reaper. Damaging enemies with Sever has a 10 to 20% chance to spawn a pool of blight under the target that deals 20 to 60% bonus damage. This effect can only happen once every three seconds. Oh my god! Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't use Sever. I use uh, Reap, rather, and Blood Surge. Sever is that one... I think, or you toss a scythe in front of you, and uh, I did use it in the past. Yeah, here it is. Uh, it's a range skill, but it's it's very effective. It also, it also casts it around yourself, so it's a pretty cool skill. Let's see what else they have here. Aspect of Exposed Flesh. 
Lucky hit. Up to a 10% chance to generate 30 to 50 essence when hitting a vulnerable enemy. Oh my god. 30 to 50 essence. And I have like 100 in total. So uh, two of those strike, you could fill up your essence. Uh, imagine that uh, with Bone Spirit, where you can instantly fill up your mana if you're really lucky. Aspect of Decay. Damage increased from 20 to 40%. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure what that one did. So, some minor buffs to other things. Uh, Aspect of Torment. Essence regeneration increased from 20 to 30%. To 90 to 170%. Okay, so I'm going to have to look up that aspect. A lot of regen there. Chance for Golem to reduce its cooldown increased from 1.4 to 2.3. To uh, 1 to 4% to 2 to 5%. That's pretty nice. Chance to Golem to spawn a corpse increased from 0.5 to 2% to 1 to 2.5%. And Uniques. Greaves of the Empty Tomb. Intelligence affix replaced with bonus movement speed. Okay. Minions. The following attacks now deal reduced damage to Druid Companions and Necromancer Minions. Oh, okay. So they take a little less damage. But, uh, so nothing huge with uh, the Necromancer, but... Uh, the summons have been more viable, it seems, as of uh, the past couple of weeks. And uh, with these uh, malignment things, with how you can cast the corpse is, uh, just freely by walking over them, really opens up a lot of builds. And then this other one that I use, where if you have at least four enemies near you, gain an aura that automatically curses surrounding enemies with Decrepify for 11 seconds. So I'll show you that in action. I'm actually using uh, Iron Maiden as well, so I have two curses out at once right now. So let me surround myself. Look at how fast they kill these guys. And the mages are also casting uh, Blizzard. See, there's the Decrepify. And I'm not sure if I can also curse them with my uh, other curse that I have active. I'm not entirely sure of that. If you can cast enemies with two curses, it's something I'm going to have to look up. So here's the Army of the Dead. I mean, this shit is just easy. Is uh, really what it's been like. So, not too long from now, I'm going to try the level 50 dungeon. The capstone, so I can start doing World Tier 3. Because she's just been obliterating this shit. And I've barely even been uh, delving much into upgrading my items or imprinting aspects. So, I just don't even feel the need. She's just destroying shit so fast. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this dungeon and let's kill the boss and see if there's a happy ending. See if we find any goodies. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright, so here's the big thicky. The Karza Abomination. Okay, not bad. So when you're above the corpses and you lose a minion, for example, because uh, my minions are the first one right there on the uh, on the belt, I think that's why, it will actually uh, use a corpse to summon a minion before it uh, explodes one. So it'll prioritize that, uh, which is very helpful. Especially right now with this reap skill that I have, every four seconds I form a corpse in front of an, an enemy as I'm swinging it at them and hitting them. Uh, every four seconds it forms a corpse. So I can continue keeping my army up as I'm fighting a boss. So yeah, it's very effective in that way. But uh, that's it for now. I'm going to check out the other patch notes on the other characters. So I might make a couple of videos on those. And uh, I do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Again, if you will, like the video, subscribe to this page. Let me know if you're playing Diablo 4 right now. Have you been enjoying it or have you taken a break? Uh, what way do you prefer to play? Is it hardcore or softcore? I am playing softcore. I enjoy just taking it slow, not looking at any guides. Uh, just enjoying myself with the spiritual journey is kind of what I've been up to. So let me know how you've been playing, if you've been playing at all. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.